today I kind of want to go over the Vonage business app that's on your phone um, and the functions that it has just just in case you're kind of wondering and we'll start with the top left corner um, you see a silhouette of a face you also see a green circle the green circle means that I am available um, and my phone will take calls so if I click that you can see enable incoming calls on this device which you can turn off um, and then it'll just go to your voicemail um, the do not disturb is it's not going to ring any phone um, and that'll go to uh, back to the office main number so if you just don't want to be bothered on your cell phone you hit enable incoming calls and it'll leave your voicemail in your box if you're just really busy and you want to make sure the the customer gets answered you would put uh, do not disturb and then it'll go back to the virtual uh, receptionist so on the keypad you notice at the bottom there's five icons so on the keypad it's just just like a normal phone um, you can call anybody the difference is the caller ID at the other end shows the business number and not your cell phone now if you want to text a customer you can go to messages and do the same thing it works the same way you would just hit the tablet at the top and you'll be able to see the numbers and while I'm doing this I should probably um, do that <laughs> so we're getting all the information that we can text to the customer without providing them our cell phone number um, which I think is a good idea because as um, you found out the other day uh, the customer once they get your cell phone number they will never ever call the office again and they will just continually call your cell phone um, but if you want the problem handled or the issue resolved or the appointment scheduled which is what we hope for um, you won't let them have your cell phone number and you'll show the office so here you can see all the recent calls um, contacts the contacts are a little different than the contacts on your phone some will merge over and then some will have to um, be inputted by you from your recent calls so if we went to recent calls we could actually add those um, for example the, the one that just called so if I was to slide that to the left I can see I can call I can message or I can add so if I add we're going to create a new contact and I, I know who that was it was the VA hospital so and with this app you have to fill in at least the first and last name so we're just gonna put VA so we'll put VA Medical Center and then we're done and then you will notice that it changed it at the top now if we go back up to the silhouette and we hit settings you can change the ringtone so that you know whether it's your cell phone or whether it's this that's ringing from the office um, call settings um, that's the same thing messaging uses Wi-Fi and cellular uh, never miss a call there's four things you can choose you can send your calls to voicemail um, you can forward all the calls you can enable follow me which is ring the office first then ring your cell phone or you can ring the office and your cell phone at the same time if you guys are working I would probably um, just leave it all send the voicemail uh, then you'll have it uh, you can always change from the silhouette whether to ring the device or do not disturb there's some other things on here there's also a uh, voicemail um, you can record the greetings they're already set up so you really don't have to do anything with that 
uh, maybe later on down the road we may do something different and personalize it some um, but right now I would just leave it as is so that's about it for uh, this particular um, application and again it, it's pretty straightforward you can see that I, I can look at um, my contacts and you guys will show up at the top as being available.